Stay tuned and I'll show you how we made this decorative piece for the holidays. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I opened up easel.com and went to the image trace tool and then you click on upload file and I just dragged my deer head image into there and then I adjusted the threshold so it looked good but then I wanted to invert it and then trace the outline and now I had the outline of the deer head that I wanted. I imported that and I had to fit it to my 20 by 28 inch board. I've got those dimensions into easel here so then I just had to resize the head and just position it till it looked good at the center of the board. The next step was to bring in the words and I did the same thing, image trace. I had found an image of the exact words that I wanted. I couldn't get this font in easel so I just brought it in. I didn't even have to adjust threshold or nothing. It looked perfect. Now I did try the trace outlines but I decided I wanted them filled in. So I eliminated that and then I just said import. And what's nice is it imported it as a bunch of individual blocks. Some of the letters were separate, some of the words were separate. So the first step was to increase the size of all of them so they would fit kind of inside the deer head. From there I could move the words around to get them laid out the way I wanted inside the deer head. Some of them I had to grab like the bry and the T, those were separate, and some of them I could grab the whole word like and. So I just basically positioned these to where I wanted. And once I had those to the position I want, then I brought in a couple stars, which were right here at the top of the menu. I resized it and then dragged it to position. And once I put a star in place, I just did an edit copy, edit paste to make identical star in another location. You also wanted a snowflake and under the icons, I found a snowflake symbol that I could just import. So I brought that in and the size was actually good. I didn't even have to resize. And I dropped that at multiple places inside the deer head, just with the copy and paste. So that worked out really well. So the next step was to set the cut depths. So here they are set. I've got the uh, deer head, which that I did at three millimeters and cut as an outline on the line. And then the letters I did as a fill. Plus I add a little circle at the nose for uh, to give it the reindeer look. And then all the snowflakes and stars I did the same way as the letters. So once I had that, I could run the simulation and see how this was going to cut, make sure everything was going to cut properly. So it generated the simulation. At first it cut the nose, then it cut the letters, the stars, and the snowflakes, and then it cut the outline of the deer head. That took the longest. So it was ready. I shipped it off to my X-Carve, and this thing went to work. And it was just cutting beautifully, but I wanted to make sure it cut even. So I ended up shimming the back corner of the wood by measuring everything to make sure it was level. So by shimming it with some piece of piece of paper in the back or piece of cardboard, it cut nice and level. And here's the result, it came out beautiful. This is after I sanded everything. So I gave it a nice sand job, handed it off to my wife. She got out her pecan stain, her white chalk paint, and then she went to work. First thing she did was stain the whole thing, including all the cracks. I didn't know she was going to go into that much detail. And then from there, she wanted to actually paint the letters and then the outline. So by hand, she painted each letter and she wanted a little bit of a rustic look to it. And it definitely got that. And then once that was done, we put it in position and here it is, ready for the holidays. So with this video, I'm wishing may your days be merry and bright. And I hope you have a very happy holidays. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.